Yo, yo, yo. Hey guys, welcome back to the Best Practices Show where our job is just to make your lives and your practices a little bit better. And today we cover an awesome topic, one of my favorite of all time with another amazing coach here at Act Dental. Her name is Heather Crockett. And we talk about the one habit that can dramatically improve your life as a dentist if you do it. So I'm gonna highly encourage you to listen to this podcast with great intention and i promise you it'll change your life see you soon So I got it rolling already because that's how we roll. I'm just kind of. All righty then. All right. So what I'm are we, we going to cover today? Uh, Kirk, I want to talk about clarity breaks. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. So where do you want to start with that? <laughs> Kirk, what does the clarity, clarity break mean to you? All right. All right. Down. I talk too fast. No, 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 no. So this is fantastic. I just absolutely love this. No, um, if you're, if you guys are joining the podcast, this is the fun part about it. Like this is what we call these, we just roll. And so, um, Heather, one of our amazing coaches here, and it's so funny because we just finished the call with our marketing team and you said, Hey, next week we're going to do a podcast on clarity breaks. And so I didn't even know what we we're going to talk about until now. And that's the truth. And so I, you know, and, uh, it's so cool. And now clarity breaks, I'm, I'm in full disclosure. If you're a dentist, listen, now here's what this podcast is all about. It's called the best practices show. Our job is that I want you to keep showing up and we're going to introduce best practices to you to improve your practice and improve your life. We want your life to get a little bit better because we believe as coaches, you can have a better practice and a better life. And that's what this whole show is about. Now, a big piece of it is your question, Heather, which is clarity breaks. So now in full disclosure, I got a lot of disclosures here. One of the disclosures is, um, you know, I'm not making this stuff up. So the clarity breaks, not my idea. And actually it came straight from a book called Traction by Gino Wickman. And I want you guys to read it because it's a, a fantastic book. I've read it and listen to it more than 20 times, not because the book changes, it's that I change every time I read it. I'm also not the smartest person in the world, so I got to go back and listen in to it, and uh, we'll do another podcast on Adam Grant's Think Again, which I'm listening to right now, which I have to listen to very carefully, but Gina Wickman describes a clarity break, and a clarity break is this. You got to get away from your family. You got to get away from your business. You have to get away from all the static in your life so that you can give negative space to the world. And in that, you can think about how you want the next chapter to be. And so we have what are called our regular study clubs. They're called the To the Top Study Club. It's my own personal clarity break, not only for myself, but for also the people it serves. So we have dentists from all over the country that are in their pro, our pro coaching program. They're in our inner circle program. Um, and once a quarter, every 13 weeks, we invite them in a room and we add a whole bunch of tools to help them think differently. And so they can go back with a lot of clarity about how to improve their practice and their life. You've heard the old adage, you know, measure seven times before you cut once. And I'm totally making that one up, but it's true. You have to think. And um, so many great people in the world, I mean, Warren Buffett is one of them. He spends 80% of his day thinking, like thinking and reading. And he swears that that is one of the lost art. You know, it's a lost art to great entrepreneurs is we have to be able to think. And so a clarity break whether you do it with us or not, doesn't matter. You've got to be able to land your airplane with your team, think better before you go to work. You're going to spend thousands and thousands and thousands of clinical hours every year working on patients. My hope is that you're spending those hours wisely. And I say this all the time, but this isn't my quote. It's Dan Sullivan's, who's a coach of mine. He, he, he's told me for years, Kirk, your problems are never your problems. 
your problems are how you think about your problems. And I found that to be absolutely true. So a clarity break is critical important. Now, I'll just go into the eye of the hurricane and tell you guys what we do personally. So at Act Dental, because I love my team and I care about this stuff and I know how important it is, you know, you've heard the cliche work on your business, now in your business. Well, your whole life changes when you actually start to do that. And so what we do is we land the plane for one week a quarter. And so I meet with my leadership team early in the week. On Wednesday, we meet as an entire team and get our priorities straight for the entire quarter. Now we teach our clients to do exactly the same thing. And Heather, how many priorities do we have this quarter? Do we have 90? What do we have? Two. We a have- solid two. Now, let me ask you, is it better to work on just two? Like, what's your opinion? Because you're a team member here, and I'm not prompting you with what to say. You can say whatever you want to say. Like, what are your thoughts on a clarity break and having only a few priorities? Uh, It's crucial to have that clarity break. Why? Because we get so lost and focused on the busyness of the day and all of our tasks that sometimes we lose sight of those priorities or how to improve the business and how to make it better. Um, And the same thing goes with dentistry too, right? Like we need to make sure, as you said, land the plane, get that clarity and think about how we can improve our day to day. It saves us thousands of hours and helps to not only improve the business, but the bottom line profitability. But to your point, the two priorities we need, they're called priorities for a reason. We need to focus in on what we say is the most important, uh, big, hairy, audacious goal, if you will, for this quarter, right? And then keep that at the forefront of our minds so that we focus on and work on that the most this quarter. And having, I mean, less is more when you're right. when you're talking about priorities. If, if you have five, are they all going to get done and be done well? Probably not. Probably not. Yeah, no, it's so funny. Now, I'm going to totally screw this up. So if you guys are listening to the podcast, you're going to look this up and you're going to say, Kirk didn't quote this correctly. But I think the Latin root, I think, is uh, there is no such thing as priorities. It was priority, which was what was the one thing. So it's amazing how in our fast paced culture, we've created our own word, which is priorities. And now we've got a lot of them. But the, the whole point is this, is like you can't focus on everything. And I have learned the hard way, really hard way, that you can't do 92 things well. You can only do a couple. And it creates this collective confidence as a team if you can pulse. Think about it. Like if you're a dentist listening. You might be thinking, I have three decades of practice in front of me. What a cool thing to implement in your practice is a regular operating system where you land the plane once a quarter, not only take a clarity break with your team, but you also take a clarity break as a leader. And you're like, how do I want this quarter to be better than the last? Because if you can create progress in your practice and you can get everybody to work together on two or three things, it's amazing what it does for your culture. You're also showing your team with your behavior and your time commitments that you guys matter to me. Some people say, oh, my team matters to me and they don't invest. But let me ask you a question, Heather, because I love asking questions about this stuff. You're, you're an amazing coach here. You coach a lot of practices. Some of them have fantastic, I mean, nobody comes to us with broken practices, but you have some great dentists you're coaching right now. Mm-hmm. Without saying their names, and you know who you are if you're listening, how important is it as you coach them with Clarity Breaks? Oh, my goodness very important it i I coach a couple clients that are are so busy and running multiple columns every day you there's no way that you can have that focus time and that clear clarity time to think when you're pulled in a million different directions yeah but heather wait 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 heather heather you don't understand my my practice is crazy like what do you you're telling no i don't have time for this stuff i don't have any place to put these patients i feel a commitment to my community you know i can't get them in like you you're telling me to take time away from my practice that doesn't make any sense i don't have time for this what do you say you know it comes back to your core values and your core purpose which is something that we do early on in our coaching process before we jump into anything else And we go back and say, okay, these are our core values and our core purpose that we said are core to us and the foundation of the practice. And if we're saying that we don't have time to get that clarity and to decide what our priorities are and to give time to our team members, then we're saying that these core values and core purpose are null 
they don't mean anything. Bam. It's kind of like saying, I'm married, but I don't have time for date night. <laughs> I just don't, or I've got these four kids. You guys, I'm so busy at work. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I don't have time for dinner. It's crazy at work. It's crazy. Why don't you guys eat? And then I'll meet up with you later. You're exactly right. Like the, the best kept secret of the rich, if you really want to use that term at all, is that they use their 24 hours different than most people do. Time is your secret. And you're going to see that time is the new rich. So having a clarity break is key when you look at thousands and thousands and thousands of hours that you're going to invest in working with patients, all that kind of stuff. And you want to use your time wisely. You know, the question is always like, why can some dentists produce twelve, thirteen hundred, four, fifteen hundred dollars an hour, while some struggle to do three hundred dollars? It has nothing to do with the money. It's just that they see those hours differently. They communicate differently, and um, I think it's crazy important to give your space. And I'll go back to what I said before too, Heather. Like my favorite moments never happen when I'm running a hundred miles an hour. Now, as we speak, we're doing this on a Tuesday. Mondays are often tough for us here at Act Dental just because we do a lot of meetings. We're always getting calibrated. So it's a lot of conversations. And a Monday afternoon, if you ask me a question, I'm going to go, bleh, 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 bleh. like, I can't make any sense. And all I need to do is go home, have dinner with my family, get a good night's sleep, exercise in the morning. And man, I feel like a million bucks on a Tuesday. Now, you don't have to do it our way, but you got to figure out how can I create some negative space in my life? Because your best ideas, they don't happen when you're going 100 miles an hour. Your best treatment plans don't happen when your treatment plan in the hallway. You got a fresh cup of coffee, it's quiet in your office, and you can look at the photos. You can look at all the data and you can go, wow, there's a lot here. Let me take a look at this. And really, that's the, why, that's the reason why you went into this, dent, this whole thing called dentistry anyway, was to enjoy the entire process. And I'll also tell you that you're listening to a podcast in which two people are talking about clarity breaks. You're going to basically turn off of this podcast and you're going to hear the opposite thing. And that's okay. It's okay. You're going to hear the opposite. Open up your hours, add another op, get a second location, add four more dentists. And it's okay for some people. That doesn't work for me. I... I wanted a life when I created a business. And I guess if you're listening to this, you might want a life too. And so um, it's important. Having a clarity break is crazy important, critically important. So a little bit more detail, like Heather, when you coach dentists, like give us some specifics. What are, what are some of your favorite clarity breaks? I mentioned a few of them, but like, let's go into the super detailed mechanics because I want people to have a few takeaways with this. Anything you would say about a a, a clarity break with your team, a clarity break with yourself, a clarity break with a coach, like what, anything that you see as nuances. Well, Kurt, do you have an Apple watch? I do. <laughs> I, I don't wear it though. Cause it, you know, <laughs> no, it's so funny. You asked me cause it's, I know exactly where it's. I hated it. Cause it, it, it actually took away from the quality of my life. Now, Darren oh, Becker said, you can turn that off. And I'm like, I, I haven't figured out how to use it. But I wore it for like a week and I could not focus. I am, I, I'm just going to say this, you guys. I'm an, I'm, a, I'm an analog guy. I just am. I, my life would be better without a computer. It'd be better without a phone. I like people. I love people. I love, so I don't, why, why are you asking me the question? <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking you because my watch will remind me to have focus time. Oh, to, it, it said it will say open mindfulness. Like, do I want to sit and, and be mindful at the beginning of the day and at the end of the day? So it's within five, 10 minutes of putting my watch on in the morning. It will pop up and say open mindfulness and help you just to focus. Right. So you can open up your fitness plus or whatever. I mean, there's so many different options. You don't have to have an Apple watch. But what I'm saying is it helps me because it reminds me to get in the right frame of mind for my day yeah. and helps me to clear out everything else that I'm thinking about because I'm worried about this. I'm worried about, you know, patient X that's coming at 11 that I'm a little bit nervous or anxious about helping me to kind of calm down and focus, right? Yeah. <laughs> Can be very helpful even on a daily basis. I mean, gosh, like you said, Mondays are, are a little bit crazy meeting wise here at ACT. As soon as I'm done with my last Zoom call, I shut my computer, grab my dog, and go on a walk. Yeah, I'll listen to I'll listen to a book on the walk, right? Like anything that you can do to like shut off your brain for just a minute, whether it's opening the mind 
mindfulness app. If you have an Apple Watch, yeah. if you don't, like you, you know, set something in your calendar that just helps you to be intentional about setting your frame of mind for the day, week, month, or quarter. That's brilliant. And I was, I, you know, I was looking for what you were saying and you said it perfectly. So, I, I, you know, I, I should probably try the mindfulness app, but the whole idea is to have it set in the calendar. So we'll combine two concepts that we've been talking a lot from two different books. I mentioned the book Traction, but we've also been reading as a team Atomic Habits. Um, yes. And taking those two concepts and combining them is where you get the exponential impact. So if you're listening to this podcast, don't try a clarity break. Schedule regular clarity breaks. They're part of who you are. It's like scheduling sleep. Sleep is not, you know, sleep is not underrated. It's not. And it's it, not optional. And it's not optional. You know, <laughs> you should actually have scheduled clarity breaks. One of them, be one with your team every single week. Our highest producers schedule two hours of clarity breaks with their team because you can work 30 to 32 clinical hours, have a magnificent practice. And trust me, your team will appreciate the fact that you're slowing down the whole business to talk about how we can get better. And it makes everyone happy. You guys are all looking for this, the secret. There's no secret. It's your patterns, your values, and what you do every day that determines who you become. And so like uh, for me, my team is crazy important. So what do I do that supports what I just said? It's in my schedule. My family is crazy important to me. So what do I do that supports what I just said? It's called dinner time. And my wife is crazy important to me. Like what do I do? It's called date night. My faith is really important to me. So what do I do? It's called getting to church because sometimes you just got to get there. Do you know what I mean? And so the same principle applies in your practice. And as a leader, I think the one thing I want you to go away with is like, you got to be around other thinkers too. So let's wrap, I'll bring this home, but like, again, you guys can join us for what I consider the best study club anywhere. It's a thinking study club and it sharpens your thinking every single time. And it's so cool because it's not me, it's everybody else. I never wanted to be the smartest person in the room. But whatever you do, it's got to be a scheduled appointment once a quarter where you are sharpening your brain. These hands can only go so far. Your back can only go so far. Your brain and your heart have infinite potential but they've got to be nourished in an environment of other people trying to help you do the same. And that's why we call it to the top study club because it's a mountain without a top. We're climbing together. We get to a clearing. We share what we learn. Then we have a sandwich, a few sips of some water, and we go, let's keep going. And we share that journey as we go up. I also want to say this, like if you're not working with a coach to help create clarity, that's silly. That's either negligent or ignorant. Now, we're coaches, so I'm just going to call. It doesn't even have to be us. I think we're pretty, a pretty amazing company, but like, we're no different than anybody else. We're, but you've got to work with somebody who's helping you improve your thinking. You can't go to work and say things to people without running them by a trusted authority. The reason I have a leadership team, a coach, a board, is because I tell them things and they go, don't do that. And I go, you're right. It saves me hundreds of hours of making stupid mistakes. I'm a man, which means I say things and I externally process. Even in my kitchen, Sarah, if she's listening to this, she'll, I say things and I'm like, oh shoot, I wish I could just take that back that's out there. I didn't mean it like that. I put it back on. And now with the help of a coach, a team around me, advisors, a mentor, they, I've reduced the amount of stupid things that I do, which makes everybody's life better. So that you know, was a little <laughs> private commentary, but uh, I love this stuff. Clarity breaks are great. You'll find the magic doesn't exist running hundred miles an hour. It, it, uh, it requires that you pause. And one last thing, it's okay to be still. It just is. You know, I've, I've talked to a couple of dentists this week. Some tough things have happened in their lives. One happened yesterday. And I said to him, who's a dear friend of mine, I'm like, just be still. Just be still in this moment. Like, go home. Just be still. Like, enjoy your family. You know, if you want to have a glass of wine, that's fine. But just be still. You don't have to, re like, the key to the world is between stimulus and response. There are going to be things that happen to you. And sometimes you just got to be still. And then think better tomorrow. And then ask for help from people around that you suggest clean up your thinking a little bit and then go to work, 
not necessarily just, you know, fire away right away the next day. So cool. Any last thoughts you have, Heather, on this? I love this topic. I don't. Come join us at the To The Top Study Club. We would love to have you. Um, all of my clients, when we talk about it afterwards, they're like, man, I was thinking this and now I'm totally thinking the opposite, right? And and that's that's the most important thing that you can do is to is to just get your thinking right. Take the clarity break. Join us in Milwaukee. It would be amazing to have you. Yeah, and here's my challenge. If you come and you don't like it, no harm, no foul. Like, don't even worry about it. I know that won't happen. Even if you come one time and you go, ah, it's not for me. We just want to welcome you. And I know that won't happen either. I'll tell you my personal agenda. I'm 52 years old, which means I'm playing the back nine of my life. It's not about success anymore. My job is to develop leaders. I don't think I, I had somebody say this to me not too long ago, Kirk, you're not a real, you're not a great leader until you develop other great leaders. And that hurt me. I, and it relieved me. Because we put the onus on ourselves to become better leaders, communicate, get it all figured out. And yeah, I want to improve some of those things. But how freeing is it for you as a dentist to go, I don't have to become the most dynamic, unbelievable leader in the world. I can invest my time in developing other leaders. So stop managing your team. Don't do that. That's boring. Start developing leaders. You'll go farther, they'll go farther, and you'll feel a better place in the world. So a big piece of you coming, hanging out with us, I feel a huge responsibility to protect this amazing profession. It's called dentistry. It's the greatest profession ever. But the secret doesn't lie in the healthcare, in healthcare, the economy, you know, dental insurance. It lies in us, all of us, creating great leaders to take it forward. So thanks for listening today. Appreciate you guys. And Heather, as always, I just appreciate you being on. We could go on for hours and hours and hours. <laughs> but uh, if you guys enjoyed today, just do me a favor, hit the share button, share this with your friends. Uh, if you enjoyed the podcast, I have another favor too. Please give us a review because what it does is it allows us to find other people like you. I love this profession. I freaking love it. And there's nothing that makes me happier than improving the lives of the people you love. So send them our way. And until we see you guys next time, keep watching the best practices show. You guys have a great day.